Hi, I'm Danielle the Clay Lady. Welcome to my studio on the Clay Ladies campus in Nashville, Tennessee. Today's lesson is going to be how to create a glaze chart. I've had several people come into the studio and compliment the glaze chart and want to know how to make their glaze chart for their home studio or for their own teaching studios. So I'm going to share with you how we make ours. We have all of our glazes on a table. We have opulence glazes, so not only do they have a name, but they also have a number, and we put them in numerical order around the table. On each of our buckets of glaze, we have on the handle a sample of what that glaze looks like on different clay bodies. For example, on our 346 white, we have what it looks like on speckled clay, what it looks like on dark clay, and what it looks like on white clay. Because there's so many different clay bodies coming into the studio, I create our chip chart on just a neutral clay. We put ours on standard 225, which is just a nice tan clay. Now on this side of the chart, we have the name of the glaze and the number, and a sample of what it looks like dipped one time. We have it continuing over here. We created our tiles with an extruder die. An extruder is mounts on the wall. I call it an adult Play-Doh factory. You put the clay in, you pull the handle, and the clay shoots through. There are people that will make tile charts by throwing the wall of a pot, but not the floor, and then they slice all the way around the wall, creating the same size and shape of tile. The most important thing for your tiles is that they're able to stand up in the kiln. You don't want to do a glaze tile on its back because it's not going to show you if the glaze lows or if it runs. Now as we go across, if you see, for example, here's grape 362, each of these tiles were dipped into the 362 grape down to this line. And then each tile was then again dipped with another glaze on top. This was our black, burgundy, white. This is grape, so this would show you grape on top of grape. If you look at the tile chart up at the top, it shows you the numbers for each glaze, each tile representing two combinations. I even put up here, this is the top glaze, the second dip. This is the bottom glaze, the first dip. So for example, if we look at this and we think, oh, this is great, I like this. We would use this chart by saying grape went on first, follow up to this side and 600 which is our antique iron went on top of that glaze. It makes a difference which goes on top because this is white on top of black and this is black on top of white. So it does make a difference on the combination and how those glazes are combined. Now the other thing that I do with my chip charts is you'll see this line that I put here a lot of glazes run. We want to know if they run before we put them on our pot. If you look on this chip chart, all of these glazes did pretty good. But look up here at this one. Look at this, right here. The glaze went beyond the line. Because it went beyond the line, that's a running glaze. And that's not a glaze combination that we will allow in the studio. You could use that combination up at the rim or the shoulder of the pot, but not all the way down to the bottom because it would run off of the pot onto the kiln shelf. And we know that's not good. As you look at this combination, you have to remember that not every combination is meant to be a good combination. But there's some treasures in here. The other nice thing about having this chip chart is if my students make a pot glaze that pot and after it comes out of the glaze fire and someone wants to know how it was done, we're able to bring the pot over to the chip chart and we're able to hold it up to the chips and find the combination. It's great having the different combinations on a tile chart, but in the age of social media, many manufacturers have Facebook groups sharing different glazes and glaze combinations. Opulence Glaze has a Facebook group called Opulence Glaze Conversations. Be sure and check it out and see what my students are making at the Clay Lady Studio.